New at five, the family of a teen shot and killed last night is speaking out about the loved one they lost. This girl you see right there, 15-year-old Chameleon Jenkins, was shot and killed in Michigan City. WSBT 22's Molly Jurosek spoke to the family. Molly? Jennifer Jenkins' family gathered to support each other today. One of the family members I spoke to was actually in the car at the time of the shooting. They told me everyone in the vehicle were simply coming home from McDonald's. A mother in Michigan City. All I know is that my daughter was coming from McDonald's, getting her something to eat, stopped by the train, and some people opened fire on the car and killed her. Is asking for tips about who killed her 15-year-old daughter, Chameleon Jenkins, Tuesday night, just a few blocks from her home. Why would somebody do that to my baby? She's only 15 years old. She hasn't even started her life yet. Shaquana Williams is Jenkins' cousin and was in the car at the time of the shooting. Yeah, it was pretty fast, just sitting there waiting for the train to pass and window shattered on her side. And... Williams says she didn't get a look at the suspect. Now Jenkins' sisters, mother, and cousin are remembering her life. She likes to dance. She was too goofy. She was annoying. Yeah, but she's my little sister. My, my baby twin. sister. These girls say Jenkins went to Westville High School. She played basketball, and they say they'll always remember her smile. Light up the whole room. Chantel Hogan says she can't imagine why anyone would want to hurt her child. She's not the type of girl. She don't get in no trouble. She don't go to school in Michigan City, so there's no reason why anybody would do that to her. She was a perfect child, a perfect child. She's begging the public for answers. If you could please find it in your heart to please let us know. Even if it was an accident, we would like to know. I'm told it was Jenkins' brother's girlfriend who was also shot, 28-year-old Sharita Wright. Jenkins' family tells me Wright has been released from the hospital and is okay. If you have tips for police, I'll be putting that number on my story at WSBT.com. At the live desk, I'm Molly Jurasek, WSBT 22 News. Molly, thank you. And just to give you some perspective here, here's a look at shooting deaths by age in our area in 2015. LaPorte County did not see any deaths under 20. Two people were killed ages 20 to 24. In St. Joseph County, four people were killed in that same age group. And in Elkhart County, one child aged 1 to 14 was killed. Marshall County did not see any deaths within those age ranges in 2015. Now, these numbers come from the Indiana State Department of Health. Statistics from last year have not been released.